including our very first Fan Forge Month. Here's 11.51 p.m. on Monday, April 12th, 2021. It's time for a Food Hour Couch recipe. This one's for Ina Garten's Homemade Chicken Pot Pie from the episode Back for the Weekend. It's intermediate. takes an hour and 55 minutes. Prep time, 30 minutes. And active, 30 minutes. Cooking time, 55 minutes. Makes four individual pot pies. That the three whole six split chicken breast bone in skin on three tablespoons olive oil, some kosher salt, grocery ground black pepper, five cups of chicken stock. Of course, you want to use homemade, but you can use the one in the can or box if you want to. Two chicken bouillon cubes, twelve tablespoons, one half six months salted butter, two cups of medium onions chopped. Of course, you know that's two onions. Three quarters of a cup of olive burst flour, quarter cup of heavy cream, two cups of medium diced carrots blanched for just two minutes, and one ten ounce package of frozen peas, that's two cups, in case you're wondering. One half cups of frozen small whole onions, that's the baby pearl onions, you know. One and a half cup, no, a half cup of minced fresh parsley leaves. Now for the pastry, you need three cups of olive burst flour, one half teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, half cup of vegetable shortening, quarter pound of cold unsalted butter, that's diced. Half cup to two thirds of a cup of ice water, one egg beaten with one tablespoon of water for that egg wash, flaked sea salt, and cracked black pepper. Now, to make it, you preheat the oven to 350 degrees, place the chicken breasts on a baking sheet, rub them with olive oil, sprinkle generously with salt and pepper, roast for 35 to 40 minutes or until cooked through, set aside until cool enough to handle, then remove the meat from the bones and discard the skin. Put the chicken into a large dice. You'll have four to six cups of cubed chicken, which is exactly what you need. In a small saucepan, heat the chicken stock and dissolve the bouillon cubes in the stock in a large pot or Dutch oven. Melt the butter and saute the onions over medium-low heat for 10 to 15 minutes until translucent. Add the flour, cook over low heat, stirring constantly. That's for another two minutes. Then add the hot chicken stock to the sauce, simmer over low heat for one more minute, stirring until thick. Two then you add two teaspoons of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and heavy cream. Add the cubed chicken, carrots, peas, and onions, and parsley. You mix it well. Now for the pastry, you mix flour, salt, and baking powder in a bowl of a food processor fitted with a metal blade. Add the shortening and butter and mix quickly with your fingers <sighs> until each piece is coated with the flour. You pulse it ten times, or until the fat is the size of peas. Just like that, right? With the water running, you add the ice water, process only enough just to moisten the dough, and have it come together. Dump the dough out into a flour board and eat it quickly into a ball. Wrap the dough in plastic and allow it to rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Divide the filling equally among four oven-proof bowls. Divide the dough into quarters and roll each piece in, into an 8-inch circle. Brush the outside edges of each bowl with the egg wash. Then place the dough on top. Trim the circle to half an inch larger than the top of the bowl. You crimp the dough to fold over the side, pressing it to make it stick. Brush the dough with the egg wash and make three slits in the top. Sprinkle of sea salt and cracked pepper. Place on a baking sheet and bake for about an hour or until the top is golden brown and the filling is bubbling hot. Now this, now you get four individual pot pies. So you can have one for yourself, one for your friend, your family member, your co-worker, anybody you choose. And with this chicken pot pie recipe, you'll be savoring comfort any time, any season, any day of or any night of the week. It's that it's a real good chicken pot pie recipe. So come across this recipe on foodnetwork.com and give this one a try and you'll agree it's the best chicken pot pie you've ever tasted. I got another recipe coming up. It's gonna be another iron garden recipe. I'll tell you what it, I'll show you what it's gonna be right after this, so don't go away.